My name is Renee. I am a current aerospace engineering student. I am a fan of poetry. I like to read. Um, I like to write. I uh, am a fan of mangoes and uh, I'm a woman in engineering. I think as a female in engineering, it's hard to sometimes get your voice out and be heard. Um, I know that we can feel intimidated by a large male presence, especially in um, this dominant field. Um, but it's important that our ideas are heard and catered to, and um, we're innovating for a, a larger audience that includes us as well. So when you're innovating as an engineer, when you're thinking about making um, the world a better place, you think about your own problems. What have I gone through? What experiences um, would I want to not have had? When you start making solutions, and you start um, thinking outside of the box of the mainstream, and you start thinking about um, the problems that the world faces every day that aren't being catered to, um, I think the world will need female engineers. Um, I think it's not an option. I think that the general mainstream ideas have been exhausted. I think we've done them over and over again. And I think that if we have a greater female presence, a more diverse presence in general, um, there would be so much, there, there's so much farther that we can go. If you have a team or a group under you, like, um, do you need to be this like motherly type of figure or you need to be this like calm type of figure and any like a, a second or a moment of rage is like, oh my goodness, this demon like <laughs> has erupted and, and you're like, okay, but like this dude like just slammed the door. So you're, you're very like cautious of like your image management and like how you're presenting yourself and like every, every moment of um, the day. There's never like a right time for women to speak up because um, they're always being questioned. Um, what is the intention of the woman? What is the, the purpose of it? Why would you say it now? Yeah, I don't think like men understand like their place of authority sometimes. I just came from a meeting um, where this team is predominantly full of males. I think there was like four girls on the team as a whole. And I walked in today and there were like two other girls in the meeting and I was like, like I just flipped. I was like, oh my gosh, like wow, what are you doing here? And they're like, we don't even know you, but well, that's good to see you too. You feel like you can speak, you feel connected to um, your workspace. It makes you feel like you have space that you're taking up and rightfully so. You know, like hackathons are a very like male dominated space. So like me and my friends, we went to um, L Hacks, which was like an all female hackathon. It was the first one. We were so excited because we're like, finally, <laughs> like, we can just be cool, chill and like create. People have very low expectations of, of girls. Like you can see a man doing one thing and it's like, oh, okay, cool. And then like, I'll just go and do it. And it's like, wow, you are a goddess. You are, wow, queen. And like, you just like the everyone else is doing it like don't set this low expectation for me um you're right like i am great but it's not because like i'm a woman and there's this lower expectation of me but like hold me to the same standards and um like watch me go if you're a female in high school looking to join engineering i think there's so much potential for you in the future don't be intimidated by competition or by male presence or by um, any other influences that might make you think that you're not ready or you're not enough, um, there is space for you and not just voluntary space, there's a necessity for you.